Hey everybody, it's Ruby, and today I have a Ruby Likes to Ramble video for you all that has been highly, highly requested. So if you guys don't know, Ruby Likes to Ramble is a series that I do on this channel where I basically give you advice on one specific topic and I talk about that through the entire video so it's not really like a Q&A or like an advice video where I answer multiple advice questions. Um, in this series I focus just on one topic for each video. So over the course of my entire Ruby Likes to Ramble series I have never done anything pertaining to relationships but today I have a Ruby Likes to Ramble video on how to deal with breakups. So I feel that now that I'm a little older, I can actually give advice on this because I know that I have been requested to do this video a lot ever since I started this channel, but I could never really give advice on it. One, because I had never been in a relationship, and two, I was pretty young and I just felt like I couldn't really give my voice on that subject just quite yet. So I'm going to be very honest with you guys in this video, starting off with the fact that I have only been in one relationship and it actually just ended pretty recently. So for those who are wondering, yes, I am completely fine, um, but it, it happened pretty recently that I can still kind of give like fresh advice on how to deal with breakups. So without further ado, let's just jump into this advice video and if you guys want to see more Ruby Likes to Ramble videos in the future, just leave me like um, topics that you want me to give advice on in the comments down below and I'll be happy to get to them. So I feel very lucky because the only breakup that I've ever experienced was actually um, a really good one, if that makes any sense. Um, we ended on extremely good terms. Um, we're still friends. It was kind of a mutual thing. I'm not going to get too much into it, but it was definitely kind of like a mutual um, parting. But yes, I'm still friends with the person who I dated. Um, it was a very clean breakup. I mean, obviously you're going to be sad for a little bit, no matter whether, no matter if it was a messy breakup or not. But I feel very lucky in the sense that I ended on really, really good terms with my ex and we're still friends. So this is just me kind of giving advice um, on how to deal with breakups through kind of the experience that I have had. So I'm just going to preference this video by saying that. Okay, so in this video I thought I would kind of talk about like the do's and don'ts of dealing with breakups. So I'm going to start off with the first kind of do, which is understand, sorry I had to push up my glasses there for a second. My first kind of key point is understand that you're gonna be sad regardless of whether or not you had a messy breakup or not. I feel like after a breakup it's very easy to kind of put on a brave face and just tell all your friends like, no, no, I'm fine, like I'm all good, like it's okay. But I want you to know that it is okay to be sad. I mean, you're going to be sad. Regardless, like I said, of whether or not your breakup was a clean parting or messy, um, it's completely natural to be sad for a few days, even a few weeks, depending on how long you and your ex were dating. Um, it might take a little bit longer than even a few weeks, but regardless, I just think that the first point, and it's really, really important to make, is knowing that you are going to be sad for a little bit and to not just immediately be like, no, no, it's okay, I'm fine, I'm fine, because part of the healing process of a breakup is acknowledging that you are sad because you're breaking up with this person or you're parting ways with this person who um, you obviously had quite a bit of interest in and now like your relationship has changed um, for the better or for the worse. Um, but that's really up to you to decide. But just know that you are going to be sad for a little bit and that is completely natural and that makes you human. So a little don't point that I have to make in this video is don't hide your feelings. Like I said, it's okay to be sad. And you know, I was the kind of person that after my breakup, I was sad, but I didn't really want that to show at school, which is completely okay. You know, I think that, you know, it's okay to like wait until like you get home to kind of show your true feelings. But at the same time, don't like get your let your feelings kind of build up and build up and build up until you're finally just like breaking down one day. Find people in your life who you can really, really confide in and that way you can kind of talk about how you're feeling. That's a really big part of kind of the healing process, I would say. But definitely don't like build up your feelings because it's so bad and it's not healthy at all. My next tip would be to surround yourself with positive people. I cannot stress this enough. But basically, in any situation where you know you're going through a rough patch, whether it's a breakup or you know a family um, member has passed on, any big significant change in your life, definitely, definitely, definitely surround yourself with positive people. I'm one of those people that I would rather have two best friends who I tell everything to rather than 200 friends who I sort of know but can't really share my feelings with. Um, so for me personally, I found that when going through a breakup, it was really, really nice to know that I had these like select few people who I knew that I could talk to and like whatever I was telling them would stay just between us. 
but also it was really nice to have somebody to talk to and kind of just let your feelings out because you're not going to feel better until you talk about your feelings with somebody else. And if you don't feel comfortable talking about your breakup with friends, lean on your family. That's what your family is here for. I know that for me personally, I talked to my family, you know, when I was feeling sad, but for me personally, what helped is utilizing my best friends. I really don't know what I would do without them in any situation, but especially recently, you know, breakups are hard, as the song says, breaking up is hard to do. Um, and although I knew that I was going to be okay eventually, you know, in the moment, I was pretty sad. And so it was really nice in the moment to have that just select few people who I knew that I could trust and confide in. So definitely surround yourself with positive people. It's only going to help you. It's not going to hurt you. I promise. A don't that I have is do not share your breakup details with everybody. So I know that in the moment you might not care about telling everybody your like all the details about your breakup with your ex, but I promise a few days later you're really, really gonna regret it. I feel like some people in the moment, you know, they just like, they're so angry or whatever if they have a messy breakup, they're like, I don't care, everybody can know what happened, blah, blah, blah. And then days later they're kind of like, wow, I really wish I wouldn't have told so many people. Because it's really important to keep certain aspects of your personal life personal and private. And part of that means don't tell everybody about the details of your breakup unless you're like one of those people who's like a complete open book, um, which I am to an extent, but when it comes to certain issues such as like breakups or stuff like that or like family issues, I don't choose to tell everybody, which is why I like to have a select few people who I can completely confide in. But definitely don't tell everybody about the details of your breakup, it's not going to help. Another tip I have is understand that the time it takes for you to feel comfortable with dating again is different for everybody. I feel like it's a really common assumption for people, not just girls, both boys and girls, to kind of think that like as soon as you break up with someone you have to go right back into dating another person. Or some people believe the complete opposite which is you have to wait a certain amount of time before you can start dating again. That time differs for everybody. For some, it may take two weeks before they're ready to start dating again or start looking at you know the option of maybe going on some casual dates with people. While for some it may take two months. But then for some others, it might take two years. It really depends. Every single person is different and every single person's situation is unique. So just know that there is no one set time that you have to wait until you can start dating somebody after breaking up with someone. Just know that if you feel comfortable with dating or looking at the possibility of starting to date somebody new like five days or a week or two weeks after you break up with someone, just know that that doesn't make you a bad person. You're not a slut. You're not in the wrong. The same as if you want to wait quite a few months, even up to a year to start dating again. It doesn't put you in the wrong. Every single person has individual like time spans that they want to wait before they want to look at the option of dating somebody again, and that's completely okay. Now on the other side of this, here is a big, big, big don't. Do not go for the rebound. So I think it's really, really easy to just immediately start dating somebody after you break up with your ex. Not because you have interest in the other person, just because you want to date somebody to get over your ex. However, I'm here to tell you, that's not the healthiest approach. First of all, it's not fair to yourself because I really think that relationships should be saved for those people who like are really, really meaningful to you and who really, really matter to you and you want to make that commitment of being in a relationship with them. It shouldn't be used, like the term relationship shouldn't just be used like carelessly and thrown about all over the place. So don't go for the rebound. I know it may seem that like dating somebody right after you break up with your ex is like the easiest way to like get over them, but it's not fair to you and it's also not fair to the person who you're like rebounding off of, if that makes sense. Because I'm gonna use a little example. So say that Susie over here just broke up with her boyfriend and then Jack asks Susie out and Susie doesn't really have interest in Jack but goes out with him anyways to get the thought of her ex out of her head. So while Jack may be thinking that the relationship is like super awesome, like, all right, Susie's going out with me, yay hey! Susie might be over here thinking, I don't really like you, I'm just trying to get over my ex, and honestly, it's not making me feel that great. So all in all, rebounds are just not good. Just, I would say like your first relationship after getting out of one, and make sure that it's one that you really, really want to be in and you have feelings for the other person and it's not just a little like fling that you have no um, real reason for being in I guess. That's that's the best way that I can put it. Just don't go for the rebound. Just don't, don't do it. And my last big 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 tip for this video and also this just piece of advice is know that everything is eventually going to get better. 
I know that right after a breakup it may seem like the end of the world and like you're never going to be okay, but I promise you if you just take it day by day, eventually things will get better. That's really the motto that I kind of had to live by and by any like big change in my life that happens that I see as like a negative thing. Just know that if you take it day by day, eventually one day you're going to wake up and you're going to feel so much better and you're just going to know. Like everything gets better eventually. I feel like that's the biggest and the most important piece of advice that you could take from this video if you choose to take any, which is just know that I know it may feel like the end of the world, but I promise you, everybody goes through breakups, everyone goes through multiple breakups in their life, I mean it's inevitable, um, unless you're lucky enough to like marry the first person that you date, but um, breaking up is something that we all have to go through and just know that it gets better eventually. You know, it might not feel better like the day after you break up with somebody, and that's completely, completely normal, but eventually things will start looking up and things will really, really seem like they're taking a turn for like the better and things will start, you'll start seeing things in a lot more of like a positive eye and you know, things, things will get better, just please know that. And that, you guys, wraps up my Ruby Likes to Ramble dealing with breakups video. I really hope that you all enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and help me get to a thousand. It would be much appreciated. Follow me on all my social media networks. Links are always in the down bar below. Again, let me know what other Ruby Likes to Ramble videos you'd like to see on this channel, and I will talk to you all very, very soon. Bye!